Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who never really see our worth. And sometimes we have to discover how to take our power and energy back by using affirmations, visual inspiration, oracles, and meditation. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher and we can learn from each other. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you, and I truly love you all. Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We're going to do a general read to see what your energy is. This is a message from your ex or a message from your twin flame or soulmate. Um, but anyway, this message is from your beloved. This is the card deck that I'm using, the Intuit Oracle, um, the Intuit Twin Flame Oracle. And so a message from your beloved. Let's see where the energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified. When I post a new video, remember rare hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my six, I mean I have my back because I have yours. Um, yeah, so here it is. Um, the first one that came out um, is the union. And so there is, it says, please send me energetic support. Use the frequency of love to uplift me because I need your help. And so somebody needs your help. And that is, why I tell you, send strength and healing period to your person, place, thing, or situation who you feel has wronged you or made you feel some way. The, t the bottom of the deck says telepathic message. I'm tired. I'm trying to figure out uh, this connection. I'll never, ex I've never experienced anything like it before. So they're asking for your help and they're letting you know that they've never experienced something like this before. And the un union is they know that they deal with you telepathically. This card comes in reverse. I'm not sure. If I really want to take reversals in this card deck, but I'll go ahead and look at it. Communication. Yeah, they're afraid to communicate with you because this communication card comes in reverse. I'll pull, I'll tell you what these say, and then we'll go over to the communication to see what's going on. Um, yeah, I'll do that. So, yeah, because the communication comes up in the upright over here. It says, romantic message. I daydream about you. Sometimes it's sexual. Other times I visualize our future together. They're afraid to communicate, and so they need strength from you. So close your eyes, picture them, and send strength and healing, period. That's it. Um, yeah, growth. All about growth. I'm looking for a way out of this situation so I can be free. There is a situation that I'll clarify down the line. The mission. I'm beginning to focus on my mission, and our connection is a part of that. So they're focusing on new missions and new things to do. And, you know, the connection of you guys is, is a part of what they're doing. So maybe they're coming around. The read that I did the other day was that they are coming around. All about growth. I'm conf conflicted about whether I have what it takes to be your partner. And so they don't know. Something about what they're having going what they have going on is conflicting them. And so the communication comes in finally. You think I'm not listening to you, but I am. I hear everything you say and even replay our conversations in my head. They can replay it in their head, but sometimes the communication, the lack of communication causes you to have to move on and just send strength and healing period to them. So we have uh, in the reverse, I care about you even when I don't I act like I don't. I'm hiding my true feelings because I feel vulnerable. So it comes in the reverse. Um, at one point, they tried to act like they didn't care about you. But in reality, again, they knew how. The only thing you can do right now is send strength and healing period to this person because, of course, they need to heal. Now, I was going to pull from this tarot deck, but I'm going to pull from the modern day love tarot to see what comes out. You know, I believe that this person is trying to do something, but again, the ball is in your court. You had to walk away or were forced to walk away because a person wasn't able to give you what it is that you know you deserve. And so now they're asking you, which you've always done. You've always loved them in the 5D. Oh, my, uh, my video just finished uh, that I did, but prior to this one. So yeah, the Queen of Cups energy, our energy, right? You have the empathetic nature to love somebody unconditionally, but at some point you started to overthink and feel trapped. And so therefore you had to realize that if this person didn't communicate with you, the best thing for you to do is to have to walk away. And so that is why the overthinking and your empathetic nature and you trying to take care and send strength and healing to this person while they're in your face and um, yeah, it didn't work. And so five of Pentacles, yeah, you were struggling and, uh, feeling backstab at the same time. The five of pentacles is, you know, about the struggle and seeing things 
for what it was. So it could be third party energies or you imagining uh, that one day this will be you. But right now they're not worried about that uh, energy. And so you had to divorce them, walk away or, you know, really feel like you backstabbed them. But all you did was do what's best for you. Who is hot? I had to take my jacket. So I was removing my sweater and hit the pause button. Luckily, I'm um, going ahead and just using my editing software so that I can put my intro and everything in here. So the Six of Pentacles, um, when it comes to the Six of Pentacles, it's like giving to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. So you felt backstabbed because you weren't receiving the same thing in return. All you wanted was the love. Forget the material, everything. You wanted them to communicate with you and to tell you tell tell you how how they felt or even show a, a inkling of love towards you without you having to feel their energy energetically and so you had to walk away and so they're asking for your empathetic nature and your love in nature you being the queen of cups to send excuse me strength and healing their way the other cards that come out let's see what's at the bottom of the deck yeah nine of pentacles you're receiving all the 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 aspects so this could be nine years it's been since you've been with this person five years, it's just like so much of a struggle. And the ninth year, you're working on yourself. And therefore, when it comes to, yeah, the page of wands. So the page of wands, you had to, you know, say yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. I'm adjusting my light. So no, you're not losing it. Um, is the present moment. So enjoy. You had to enjoy this moment uh, for what it was or what it is when it comes to how this person has done things and so you had to realize that the past causes fear and the future causes anxiety the only thing that you could do is send strength and healing to them and move forward and then we have the lover's energy doing what makes your heart happy and taking the leap so lover's energy could be dealing with the gemini but you could be doing what's making your heart happy and that with the full energy is you taking the leap this could be that this person is ready to take a leap once they get to this point but it takes for you to understand your abundance and understand what it is that you were lacking in order for you to move forward. Let me go ahead and clarify. Um, let me see. I want to go ahead and clarify the communication in the reverse. They know how they feel right now. And so, again, I'm. if you think I'm not listening to you, uh, but I am. You think I'm not listening to you, but I am. I hear everything you are say, you say and every, uh, every, even, even replay our conversation in my head. So, um. Again, yeah, four wands energy. So it just comes out that this is what they want. Peace, happiness, and harmonious energy. And it says, I'm conflicted about whether I have to, uh, I have what it takes to be a partner to you. And so the four wands is they want peace, happiness, and harmonious energy with you. The union energy, please send me energetic support. Um, use, this, uh, use the frequency of love to uplift me because I need your help. And so, yeah, three of cups energy. You're grateful for this experience. Uh but you, you're, you're ready to celebrate. The communication comes in reverse. So let's see what that is. You know, I just believe that, you know, you have what it takes. Yeah, three of pentacles. But we have the we have the magician. Yeah, they want you to manifest. Use your magic to own them. And magic, when I say that respectfully, it's not real magic. But it's you sending strength and healing the power of your word towards them in order to work with you, you as a team. But that's the last card that fell out. Or to have a union with you, right? I'm conflicted um, about whether I have what it takes to be your partner. And remember the card in the reverse. They wanted you to send, you know, strength and healing their way. I care about you even though, even even when I act like I don't, I'm hiding my true feelings because I feel vulnerable. So they want you to give them the strength not to feel vulnerable. And in the negative situation, the death energy is here. Also with the three of pentacles, they're ready to make a move towards you to work with you as a team. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups energy, Three of Pentacles is here. So what threes mean? It says the power of three separate forces coming together and work working as one. So again, the power of three separate forces coming together and working as one. This person is ready to work with you as a union. If you see, it's two circles, three circles, three hula hoops, right? Hold on. It's three hula hoops, but... They're all in one um, hula hoop, meaning that they finally decided to come together and be grateful for. Um, and this could be, you know, a situation where two is better than one, but it's just basically growing together and working as a team. And so the dream about you 
Um, and sometimes it's sexual, but I visualize us together. They're visualizing you and trying to manifest you with the magician energy. But again, the judgment is that you had a realization that I'll take that card. You had a realization that, yeah, page of wands again, page of wands coming here. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. You visualize that the present moment is not them visualizing the future part. It's about being with you in the present moment. And so therefore they have to do that. The growth. I am looking for a way to figure. So, uh, excuse me. I'm, a, I'm looking for a way out of this situation so I can be free. Well, what situation are they trying to be out of? Is that the yeah completion? It says completion. Five of Cups energy. I mean, excuse me, the world energy and the Five of Cups. They have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing sadness. I'm not going to take these because the completion is that they realize that it's them and that they need the strength. They don't care how they feel. I'll show you Page of Swords. Yeah, Clarity. The Fool taking the leap. I guess I will. Ace of Swords, Clarity. Yeah, Page, page of Swords is basically clarity, clarity and, and learning, right? Nine of Cups is, you know, the happy life, happy wife type energy. The Eight of Wands is communication, movement towards you. The devil energy, again, is the toxic situations. They realize that they spent the wrong web. And then uh, Nine of Wands is setting boundaries because you set boundaries. Look at this. Look at the roses. They have thorns. But she has, uh, excuse me, the roses, she has crossed out on her shirts how many times she let you come in and out. He or she let you come in and out. And now that there's this boundaries that had to happen, Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. You know, it's a new beginning. It's growth, right? Basically. And the King of Cups energy is somebody. Now you're opening up and they're on their way towards you. King of Cups energy. And they're ready to be loving, compassionate, and understanding. But you have to open the gates up. You know, they, they have to be able to sail through to get to you. And the Five of Swords is, you know, basically um, you understanding that. And it has to be that. They have to learn how to not deal with ego and to learn how to love with their heart and not with their head. And so I guess that is what they needed to learn. And so I, I'm going to take that. It says, I'm beginning to focus on my mission uh, and our connection is a part of that. And so what is the, yeah, the mission is emperor. Yeah. So the emperor energy, the mission, the, they need stability. You know, they need, they need to have the power and the authority to be able to do these things that you need them to do to be strong for you. And that's the emperor. That is somebody who can do this. But the communication, you think I'm not listening to you, but I am. I hear everything you say and even replay the conversations in our head. And so them replaying the conversations in your head is, and I mean, in their head, in them listening, they have to move forward. And so you have the power to say yes or no, this is what you want to do. Yeah. And this is the higher energy. Yeah, the belief system. They have to unlearn to relearn. You know, the wise old owl, if you ever heard the story of the wise old owl, you know, um, you learned. They had to learn. The communication is they had to change their belief system. And also with the moon energy, the unknown, they had to go after it. Because you see here, he's thinking about, he or she, however you want to take it, is thinking about what they did wrong. And they're asking the wise old owl to send them some type of energy and you know, the moon talking to them, you know, and it's like hoping you, you can hear me talking too, and you're doing the same thing. And so again, asking guidance of the moon is basically what they're doing. Bottom of the deck is the king of swords. So the king of swords, um, is somebody who, um, when faced with a difficult situation, they have to be impartial, carefully evaluate the options with the rational mind. And so that is when it comes to love and taking a leap. So I'll go ahead and clarify the lover's energy. And then I also clarify the fool, you know, the lover's energy card of Gemini and the king of swords is there as well. But we have all the signs on the board. Unsure energy comes out with the king of cups. They're not sure if they're going to be compassionate. And that's what this card says when it comes to harmony and peace here. It says I'm conflicted about whether I have what it takes to be your partner. They're conflicted about being able to love you. King of cups energy is what we're clarifying now because it needs clarification comes out with Boom. Three of swords. Yeah. They're afraid that you're going to break their heart now. So now it's a man here with the um, uh, swords in his heart. You know, it, there's, I think in here, there was a woman here, but let's clarify the full energy taking a the leap. They're not afraid anymore. Yep. Okay. Yep. They're not afraid anymore. And so when it comes to the king of wands, now they're going after what they want. Um, the king of wands shows his face. I think this is the second time. 
But the bottom of the deck is a tower. Endings, death energy, which was over here somewhere. The endings too, this stagnant energy and them being afraid. They're not afraid anymore. So hopefully they're saying what they want, meaning what they say. Two of Pentacles, they're not juggling. You know, they're 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 learning to balance and have a balancing act when it comes to them taking a leap of what they want. So the full energy would normally be this type of way of them taking a leap, but they're learning how to juggle, you know, this leap that they're about to take. And the King of Wands energy, a true leader who leads from the heart, inspires others to do more, dream bigger, and be better. That is what this person is doing, but they have to take a leap and learn. They have to unlearn to le relearn. I'm trying to figure out this connection. I never experienced anything like this before. So that is what they're doing. I believe you have everything that you need in this read. It's up to you on whether, again, when it comes to the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups here, you have to be able to open the door. It's not up to them. You're the one who counted the times, how many times they broke your heart and why you had to set the boundaries. So you have to understand that you need to be impeccable with your words, not to make assumptions, you know, not to take things personally and to know that you've done your best at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, the four agreement says always do your best, honor yourself. And that's the first thing that you have to do in the beginning of this situation. You have to honor yourself enough to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. But, and that doesn't mean the death energy embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. The new beginnings come, yeah, after you become optimistic and understand that your intuition always lets you know that this is a cup of love, but you had to go in hermit mode to let them see about love and opportunities and also them having to be able to do the work. And you can't just keep giving to a situation wholeheartedly without expecting to receive something in return, whether it be love, you know, not necessarily finances with you, but the five of pentacles is you have to learn what the struggle is. And so that is why the tower energy comes out. It says, honor the man or woman that you are. Take the risk to express your dreams. Take action is taking action is about living fully and expressing what you are. And so that is what you had to do in the beginning. Now let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then we'll let this energy go. Yeah, I just believe this is what you had to do in order to get through this situation. And so that is the best and easy thing, hardest, but at the same time, rewarding thing that you can do when it comes to somebody who is unsure of what they really want. And deep down, you know what they want. They're just afraid. The Zoe sight, it's the heart chakra, the ability to send strength and healing to this person. I mean, I can't say it anymore. Motivation, positivity, and focus. You have to be positive about every situation, but that comes with you honoring yourself and understanding that you have to unlearn to relearn. And also no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. So it says, I am filled with joyful and creative energy. You have to focus on yourself. That's all you can do. All right, you guys, um, I love you and I really appreciate you all. Stay tuned for the affirmation. You made it to the end and thank you. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, and yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my slits me to have my back because I have yours. Now, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate. Negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. And remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. Thank you guys, and I really and truly love you. Have a nice day.